I'll tell you a little story. I thank God for my sixth grade teacher. When I was moving from grade school into junior high school, she stopped me in one, one day in the, in the uh, school, and she said to me, I want you to do a lot of reading and a lot of writing. That's where your life lies. And she was right. Well, I went off to seminary in Chicago. I was there five years. In the first week I was there, I prayed like this, Lord, I'm gonna be here five years. I don't wanna waste them. Please give me a verse that'll carry me through. And he did, Psalm 1611. You, you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. As I study the word, it, it always tells me something. This book was written for the mind, but basically for the heart. And when I open my Bible, I want God to say something to me. I hope that the one that we're doing, the, bo the book that we're doing, will be used of God to bring families together, to bring churches together, to help people know the Word of God and what they should do with it. It's really a commentary. It isn't just some notes or some maps or something. Uh, you, you, you find out why and how. Um, I'm praying God will bless it because it's a desperately needed thing. The Bible is its own expositor. Uh, the Word of God teaches us the Word of God. The Holy Spirit helps us. And this is one of the joys of the Christian life. So the joy of Bible study is not in learning something abstract. The joy of Bible study is seeing your life changed. <music>